Hey everybody, uh, and welcome to this bonus step. Um, in this step, what we're going to do is add a particle effect to our ranged enemy attack uh, projectile um, with the hopes of, um, you know, having a little bit more visual flair when they fire those projectiles. If you haven't yet added the ranged attack um, it, that you'll do in week four, that's okay. Um, we can set this up now, and then once you get that ranged attack working, you'll have all this stuff in place and ready to go. Uh, so what we need to do is go into our resources and prefabs folder and then find the weapons folder. Inside that you should see a spike ball um, prefab there. Um, what we're going to do is just double click on that to open up the prefab editor. Um, here uh, we then need to go to the effects folder under prefabs and we're looking for the rocket trail effect. Um, and all we need to do is grab that and drag it right under our spike ball right here in the prefab editor. Um, you may find that it puts it off center like this, um, which can be a little annoying. So we can go to the position part of our transform and set this all to zero. Um, and then we also will likely want to scale this down because as you can see, the, the effect is quite a bit larger than our projectile. So what we can do is set the scale to something like 0.3 in each direction. Um, uh, actually, it looks like that's not going to affect it too much. I think we have to get into uh, the objects down here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. So we go into the rocket trail and uh, the flames and set those to 0.3. There we go. And now if we just grab this and like move it around. Oh, I guess we won't be able to see it without the... If you select both those objects, you can see the smoke trail is going to follow the projectile as it flies. Uh, once you've got that scaled down and those attached, um, you can go ahead and exit the prefab editor by clicking this little back arrow um, and then save your scene.